Hello to you once again. So you'll see on our screens, we've been having that breaking news strap for you there, indicating that 17 people have been gunned down at uh, a village in Lusikisiki. And we're expecting an update from the National uh, Police Commissioner, as well as uh, the Police Minister and the Deputy uh, Police Minister, at about 1 o'clock this afternoon. Uh, it's understood that gunmen had opened fire on uh, uh, villagers uh, in Lusikisiki. 17 of those people of course, uh, have uh, been confirmed dead. We understand an 18th victim is currently in hospital. We're not sure what the condition is at this uh, particular stage. The ANC in the Eastern Cape has condemned the killing of uh, those 17 people, describing it as a barbaric. I want to bring in the ANC in the Eastern Cape, uh, Gift Ngondi. Uh, Mr. Gift Ngondi, thank you very much indeed for your time. We do appreciate it. Haven't seen your statement. This is certainly... Indeed, very barbaric in terms of what has taken place at this village. What do you know about what happened there? Uh, good morning, Crystal, and good morning to your viewers. This is just a, a very horrific act and a very barbaric one uh, that uh, defenseless women and children could be killed in this kind of manner. And uh, I must say that early this morning I received a call uh, from the Ward Councillor of the Ward, uh, I think it's Ward 14 at Inguza local municipality and the mm. villages in Gobozana, where uh, she informed me that uh, 17 family members were killed early hours of this morning. And, and it's reported that uh, the assailants uh, entered the house and shot and killed the family members, mostly women and children, including a five year old child, at the Singlena family uh, home. Uh, and these are two families, it's Inglina family and the Matu family. And we want to say as the province that uh, we condemn this public act with the contempt it deserves. Because to us, it, this is very terrible, saddening and unconscionable that uh, such a horrific and callous act could be meted on def defenseless women and children. And that's why in our statement that we are calling on the law enforcement agencies to work around the clock to apprehend these heartless criminals who kill these innocent souls. And we also believe that... Uh, since the Minister of Police has deployed the National Intervention Unit, including the TRT in the province, I think those policemen must be deployed, some of them, to that particular area just to go and hunt these heartless criminals. And I mean, are there any further details in terms of what could have led to this barbaric act as you've described it? Um, anything that we've heard on the ground at this stage while police continue with their investigations? Look, look, when I spoke to the ward councillor of the ward this morning, uh, she explained to me that uh, uh, just uh, some few months back, uh, there, were, was, there was one family member who, was, uh, who died and uh, they were preparing some family rituals uh, as the family because some of the family members were not necessarily residing in the homestead, but they arrived last night because they were going to attend this family ritual today. And it, it seems to me that this was well orchestrated, well planned, uh, this killing, because how do they know that all the family, all the family members were in the house? So that's why they, they came or arrived early this morning and mm -hmm. hunted them down and killed 17. I mean, this is heartless. This is gruesome. This is unbelievable. Mm. And obviously, I mean, police uh, would need to move swiftly to try and apprehend uh, those who are believed to be responsible for this. I'm sure uh, that entire community is now living in fear. It's, it's quite shocking. It's quite shocking. And I can tell you that uh, when I spoke to the mayor this morning, uh, in fact, she, she, by the way, was going to visit the family. She was telling me that the, 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 the entire community is horrified, is living in fear because they, don't, they didn't even see these atlas criminals. And that's why the police must make sure that these men are hunted down, they are arrested in the next 72 hours because this is just unbelievable. I mean, I was shocked when the Premier called me this morning. I could not believe it that uh, people could hunt down family members. I mean, 17 family members. It's unbelievable. It's unforgivable, Criselda. But Gif, thank you very much indeed for your time. We really do appreciate it. Uh, yeah, we really do appreciate you speaking to us here on the programme, especially uh, at such a short notice. We're getting uh, drips and drabs of details, of course, but the ANC in the Eastern Cape condemning uh, what uh, took place. Let's take a look at these uh, visuals that we've just received now from uh, the South African Police Service.
Uh, these are uh, official visuals. You'll see this is exactly where uh, this incident has taken place at the Ngobozana village. Uh, you see the crime scene is still cordoned off there. And crime scene investigators take a look at some of uh, the forensic pathologists are still busy at that scene at the moment. We do apologize for uh, the visuals uh, themselves. That's fine. We'll continue to play them. They are from the South Road of the South African Police Service. We'll put them back on for you to give you a sense of exactly uh, what we're looking at at the moment. But we must apologize. They're not uh, of the best quality. I think that South African Police Service is really trying to assist us as best as possible. If we could ask our colleagues to bring that up again for us in just about a moment. I think there are two of those videos that the police uh, have sent uh, through to us. Uh, just taking a look at that, of course, being uh, the top story at the moment, a barbaric act being described. There, there we are. Uh, that's definitely one of the houses that's been affected there. We understand two homes, two families have been affected. You can also see the police there uh, who have um, arrived at that uh, scene as well. Uh, comparing their notes in terms of what they'll brief the media and the nation about uh, come one o'clock uh, this afternoon when we expect that briefing. Forensics are still on the scene. Looks like a complete ghost town at this particular point. Obviously, you cannot have anyone around that crime scene at the moment as uh, investigators, of course, uh, continue with the work that they are uh, busy with in terms of combing the scene. But the ANC in the Eastern Cape condemning that incident that has taken place there. We're expecting another update as well from uh, the South African Police Service. In fact, their first update at 1300 hours. But what we heard from uh, the uh, National Police Commissioner, General Fani Masimula, a little bit earlier on was that uh, investigations are continuing at the stage. They're not sure exactly how many um, uh, suspects they are looking for. But when we're hearing from what the ANC in the Eastern Cape is telling us is that uh, there'd been a number of uh, these uh, assailants that opened fire in that uh, particular area. And uh, they've described, of course, the incident that has taken place there as barbaric. We'll bring you all the latest. We'll try to get as much more on the ground and much closer to the situation as the program progresses.